hi guys welcome back to my very first reaction because i have been wanting to consume this content together with you as we agree or disagree with some things that we will see as we continue on with the reaction and our first reaction is 15 super beautiful african traditional clothes now i have some countries in my head that if they are not mentioned in this video we are calling them out let's get started okay this is Ghanaian already. You can see. believe that Africans were NAK in D before the arrival of Europeans is totally ludicrous because Africa is too popular for. Do you believe that Africans were naked before the Europeans? Maybe it's true, but is it Africans only? He has a reason why they were naked. Let's continue. Fabric, the Malian Bogolan, and the Ghanaian Kente were in existence way before the first explorer ever set foot on the shores of Africa. Mm -hmm. So, that belief is totally bullshit. Ah, uh, thank you very to much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much that it was a bullshit. Appreciate it. We are revealing 15 of the most beautiful traditional okay. costumes of African countries. Girl. Let's begin. Can we just agree that African ladies are very beautiful? Afro. Kenya. Okay, oh, Africa. 15 Kenya? Maasai, my tribe! There are many types of costumes. That's because every region or tribe has their own idea how a traditional attire should look. Regardless, mm -hmm. Kenyan traditional clothing is very colorful and heavily decorated. But this is just Maasai. Other Kitenge, Kitenge and Kanga. And Kanga. Or oh, most of it is food. Oh, Nigeria 14th. Okay. Of course, Nigeria had to be in the list. Come on. Yeah. The most common traditional clothes worn in Nigeria are the Abada. Abada. The Isiago. Isiago. And for the females, the Edo culture costume. Sometimes I, I appreciate such compilation because they give you a glimpse of things. But now, after watching the Kenyan, I feel like. I wish I was with a Nigerian. If you are a Nigerian, let me know in the comment section down below of a type of clothing that was not maybe shown. Yeah, then I can get to also learn with you. South Africa. Mm. South Africa. Okay. SA is a hotbed of multiple cultures, ethnicities, okay. cuisines, traditions, and clothing. We are the country about is a home to a multitude of people from different parts of the world and the differences between these cultures can be seen in their clothing style Kosa, Venda and the Bele have different styles of the Bele costume. but the one ring to rule over all of these people mm -hmm. is the Madiba shirt Madiba shirt oh okay okay Tanzania men in Tanzania okay let's see what Tanzania has different from Kenya women they prefer brown beige blue and yellow colors this outfit is known as the Kanzu. Oh, Kanzu. But Kanzu is from this school. country where Kanga or Kitenge. Famous Kenya. Uganda. As we continue, let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below what African country you think, after all this outfit, has like the most amazing, beautiful. Based on your opinion, because I feel like it's so opinionated. But <clears throat> I feel like Kenya and Tanzania. Kind of have almost the same fashion sense apart from especially if you're considering like the coast side you'll feel a similarity in tanzania the mushanana oh i love this name is a traditional mm, ceremonial dress you guys and rwanda it consists Remind of a wrap skirt bunched at the hips and a sash draped over one shoulder but typically is worn over a tank top of this is rwanda Bustier. Mess is one of Uganda's favorite clothes, For but me. it is mostly donned by older women. Mm. wedding. Ethiopia, each ethnic group or tribe that lives in Ethiopia has its own unique traditional cloth. Yeah, they However, had to dance. The most common one is the Habeshi kemis worn by the women. This is a long white dress embellished with embroidery and a white shawl known as netela. The mess consists of white trousers, a white knee length shirt, and a piece of cloth known as gabi. Hey, tell us which of these traditional African clothes already caught your attention. You got it so right at the Ethiopian. <laughs> In the comments below. Somalia. Somalia. 
Somalian women mm -hmm. wear long Somalian dress women. made out of comfortable polyester, known as patir. Married women tend to sport head scarves referred to as shash and often cover their upper body. Somali men wear mowies. Oh, nice. For their upper garment, <laughs> a plain shirt does the magic and a colorful turban or a goofy head. Ghana. Wait, after visiting a country like Djibouti, I have to say, I, after seeing what their traditional outfit is, which is this, which I had no idea even while that was still there, because sometimes people don't put on their traditional clothes. Yeah, but seeing such a compilation gives you an idea of other places or other different things. So let's keep watching. Gada! Hey, Maya. The culture of this country and oh, its well. Asian heritage. Maybe not just Maya, Hanapi, Rak Ghana. Who else do I know from Ghana? I'll be short for forgetting people, my friends in Ghana. Marvel, okay. Let's leave it at that. Everyone else, thank you very much. Blade influence the look of traditional clothes. That's why the designs, fabrics, and patterns are not just any random oh. thing without any meaning. These fabrics carry old knowledge and tradition. The two common types Beautiful of traditional couple. costumes in Ghana are kente and the Ghanaian smog. Oh, the smog. Wait, hold up. The smog, I feel like I've seen it a lot in Nigerian movies the ones that we used to watch kitambo like long time ago uh during akian popo do you relate uh, just like uganda people here also wear no, shanana. Yeah. these are ties a little shanana. bit similar to a very simple draped indian sari but it is historically used in africa shout out to all my rwandese friends rwandan culture In Gambia, include long flowing items for women. These clothes often go down, down to the ankles, and traditional clothes are often bright and colorful, made from a very popular process known as tie dye. Tie -dye. DRC in the DRC, mm -hmm. men and women enjoy dressing up in nice clothes with very bold colors. The Congolese dress in a style known as Liputa, not to be confused with Lupita. Is that like okay. a code word for something else? Wearing nice clothes in this country is extremely important because the nicer the clothes are, mm -hmm. the more respect you will receive. Congolese women hardly ever wear pants. I don't know if this... <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't see that coming. Ah, wow, what? Okay. We're going to Congo to confirm that story. Even his facial reaction is... Let's see what he says. <laughs> that got me unawares. Why does it sound weird? Oh, I mean trousers. That's oh. what they Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, I get it. Got it. Got it. That's what he hmm. The traditional Swazi outfit worn by men and women are called Emahia. They consist of two parts. The top part is an Umhel Wayne. Umhel Wayne. This is a large piece of fabric tied with a knot on the left hand side of the shoulder. The bottom part is Lihia, which is a cloth wrapped around the waist. Morocco. 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 I think in my head I had just programmed the doing of Southern Africa. I don't know why, but it said African. Let's see Morocco. The traditional dress for men and women in Morocco is called Jalaba. Jalaba. Okay. I feel like they showed more of the hair than the dresses. But okay. For very fine. special occasions, men mm -hmm. also wear a red cap referred to as a fez. While the women wear kaftans. Kaftans. Mali. Oh, this looks very African, like deep, beautiful. Ah, express yourself in our skirts, tunics, and long dresses are popular choices for Malian women, particularly the panya, which is a wraparound skirt. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, women also wear turbans that match their dresses. The bubu which is a full-length tunic, is a traditional men's garment. If they don't say Namibia Egypt. next. Egypt! Similar to 
that of Morocco, the most widespread outerwear in Egypt is known as the kaftan. The kaftan here is open in the front and belted with a sash called hizan. Which of these African clothing styles appeal to you the most? Leave us a comment down there. I'm your host Murphy and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank Peace. you. I think uh, based on my observation, I never knew, wow, well, Africa has amazing beautiful colors. I just have to say that and I applaud. Thank you for this compilation. Looks good getting people to know the information of how different cultures can look like. Uh, I feel like I appreciated knowing like a country like Botswana has like a different, its own kind of African dress and also Namibia. I think you guys already seen my dress. <laughs> if you follow me on other platforms, yeah. In Namibian dress and I feel like those countries actually represent their traditional dresses more than some of the countries that they've mentioned but it's okay it's a good enlightenment I'm not here to critic I'm just here to enjoy my video as we move on I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and uh, let's see how the next one goes